Hey there, people of YouTube, how are you? If you've been watching my videos, you've probably seen me make a few videos about this in the exhaust. Uh, you may have seen this video right here about me fabricating this very uh, experimental custom rear X-pipe setup for my car. And if you've seen that video, then awesome. You've probably seen the ones afterwards. And if you haven't seen that video, then you can go ahead, use the card right here to uh, look at that video and, and get caught up on what I've been doing. Since I made that piece, I also had the piece remade. And I've had the piece remade out of 304 stainless steel, beautifully welded and tucked in nicely right here behind the uh, rear bumper cover, all tucked in in place, V-band clamped onto the existing exhaust system. Now this whole exhaust was basically a way for me to try to get this car to sound more like a GTR, even though Ford just did that with the new Raptor, and uh, that will be kind of a coming update to this existing design here in the near future, but I haven't actually made any videos about how this setup sounds compared to the first pipe I made. Considering this is 304 stainless, it does resonate a bit differently, and it's all two and a half inch pipe. So this video is exactly for that. How does this setup sound compared, and does it sound even more like a Ford GT than it did before? Keep watching. So I've made a few videos uh, on Instagram about cold starts and whatnot, what this sounds like at idle, and it actually sounds really good. It's a little bit more high pitched, a little bit more, uh, I don't know, balanced sounding maybe. It's not as low, it's not as deep as just the muffler delete by itself and the big tips I had on here. So it's a little bit more uh, higher pitched. And even though the car is not cold, this is a warm start just to see how it sounds. Not too bad, it's a nice, very mellow, uh, not super loud, idle tone. Uh, definitely wish it was a little bit louder, but that could all be changed with uh, the change of the midsection. But I'm gonna set the camera up on a tripod and get a couple revs, so that way you hear what that sounds like too. One thing you can tell immediately the difference of is there's definitely a lot more uh, burbles and cracks and, and a lot more just kind of variation in the exhaust, um, especially when you're uh, revving it there. It does do that. And there's actually a lot more cracks when you're coming off of, uh, you know, hard excel or something. It will make a little pop or bang or something here and there. And it's actually pretty amusing, of course. But uh, it's not super loud, it's not obnoxious. I definitely wish it was a little bit louder, um, but not too bad. I think it's definitely an improvement over just having a straight pipe by itself, considering that literally is just replacing where the mufflers were anyway. So, and that sounds better than uh, any muffler combination I've heard thus far, at least in my opinion. Um, so, but now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go uh, travel to a area where I can set the camera up and I'm gonna do a couple just drive-bys Maybe do a couple pulls past the camera that way you can hear what it sounds like under load So just uh, give me a second and we'll go ahead and venture to that spot So I'm gonna do a couple different uh, types of uh, Driving clips here. Uh, I'm gonna lock it down in certain gears and drive by certain RPMs then I'm gonna do some you know full throttle uh, flybys and stuff, trying to get as much variance of load and sound that I could possibly get. So uh, this next few minutes is going to be a compilation of all these different uh, takes here 
and hopefully you get a really good idea of what this exhaust sounds like. Yes, there always can be improvements. And now since Ford has basically said, hey, I'm gonna do what you're trying to do, and we can because we have millions of dollars worth of uh, R&D availability, we're gonna just do it because we have engineers who we pay to do this stuff, and they did. They created probably one of the best V6 trucks exhaust on the market um, currently, probably at all. I don't think there's really any other V6 performance i mean just i don't think there's any other v6 performance anything right now from american uh from a domestic automaker that sounds as good as the new raptor it just sounds really really good um straight from the showroom floor and that is the sound i wanted with this car and i've been working on this whole thing for months now finally having the time and the money you know, slowly putting it together just to get that piece built because it is a custom piece, it was expensive, and that's the price you pay to be different. <laughs> and as you know, Ford, basically, the only way they were able to achieve that whole uh, sound is by creating equal length um, pipes, at least creating them equal so where when they emerge into the X pipe, the pulses are arriving at the same time. And that's what creates that, that trumpety, unique tone that that truck has and much like you that i was trying to mimic with the uh four gt and of course you know the hallmark gtr sound so uh that's how they did it and it's actually a pretty clever idea and i've thought about similar ideas when a viewer commented on one of my videos and said you know you really need to have your downpipes equal length and i'm like okay i i get it i get where this is coming from um, you know, the, everything has to be equal length. This pulse doesn't need to arrive at the same time. That's why. Uh, but having equal length downpipes created would be extremely expensive. Not to mention, if this is something I want to try to develop to be available for everyone, not everyone's going to spend the money that, you know, custom equal length downpipes are going to cost just to have a sound. It's not going to happen. The SHO community is only so big. So I thought of a couple different ways of how I can achieve that same sound without giving equal length downpipes. Well, somewhere along the uh, exhaust system, that space needs to be made up. It's approximately 40 inches or so, give or take, um, of extra space that needs to get taken up between bank one and bank two because of being a transverse engine. It does sit sideways. That front bank has to be, or the rear bank, I'm sorry, the rear bank has to be extended the same distance, basically the width of the engine uh, between those two banks to get them evened up. Uh, there's really not enough space underneath the car to do that. I thought about maybe doing um, kind of like a flat circle thing. No, that would be kind of stupid. You know, I was really trying to find a way to do it after the flange. But I think for basically, uh, you know, gave me what I need to do and that is a trombone loop it's a really good idea um, even though it sounds silly 
it worked for the Raptor, it's gonna work for this car as well. And it's basically gonna create a all-in-one piece solution that can go on any car and create that tone and uh, that way no one has to go through the expense of you know pulling your down pipes off and replacing anything other than cutting your mufflers and putting this piece in place so i will be in contact with the shop that built that piece and i want to see what it's going to take to add approximately 40 inches of pipe to the one side that needs extended so bank one which i believe is the left side exhaust I want to see how much it's going to take to get that extended 40 inches through a trombone loop on that side. There's plenty of space back there, so it's a perfect place to do it. And uh, that will be right before the X-pipe. And theoretically, that's going to create the unique tone I'm looking for and that everyone loves out of a V6. And if all goes well, then this will definitely be a piece you can have on your car as well. So that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you wanna see more content like this, then subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for the next video.